Good day folks, uh, this is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Today we're going to be talking about leasing land, which is I think is a very important topic um, when it comes to grazing business, um, when you're starting out especially. I think it's uh, pretty hard for anybody, whether a young person or an old person, if you're just getting into grazing and setting up a farm to go out and spend your equity, if you've got a nest egg that you've been working at, saved up some money and put all that all into land. Well, when you do that, you've taken all your money, you don't have any money left now to build fence, maybe put some water where you need it, buy animals, which is number one. Um, so it's just a really tough way to get going. And so I, I did that. And I want to save you all the pain of that. Uh, back in, let's see, 1989, I bought my first farm. And I went to the bank. I had I had a very good job in town. And I thought, you know, heck, I can pay this thing off with my town job. Even if I can't make it on the farm with the cattle part. Well, it didn't work out that way for me. I mean, I got in a long, lengthy uh, divorce and almost lost everything I had. But during that period, I started looking at land differently. Leasing it. And, uh, you know, there was an article I wrote, The Sole Purpose in Life Should Be not to own the land, but to control it. And the highest cost in the cattle business, or the sheep, or goat, whatever, is the land. You've got to have something to put your animals on. And so if you can take that variable out by leasing it, oh my gosh. Folks, you can do this. Um, I want to apologize if there's any background noise. My dog's over here. <laughs> he's, he's having a great time and making a little noise. So I have to apologize for Smokey. But back to the land thing, you know, you don't have to have any money, you don't have to have any land, you don't have to have any animals. You can do this, what I've done. And I detail it real well in my first book that I wrote called No Risk Ranching. That can be found on our website, uh, greenpasturesfarm.net. But in that book, I detailed how I started. We, I didn't have nothing. I didn't have nothing. And I started leasing these farms around here. And... Uh, they weren't very good farms, but they're good enough to put cows on. And I got people that bring cows on to the farm for me. So I got paid so much a month for every cow that I was running on other people's land. And that's what the that's why I named the first book, No Risk Ranching, Custom Grazing on Lease Land. So that's what I did. I took other people's land, other people's cows, put the two together, and I was a management service. And by doing that, I was able to build my equity pool quick because I didn't have any bills. All I was doing was bringing in, I was bringing in money. Yeah, I had a lease payment, but it wasn't much because I got land that nobody wanted. So that's what I go after. I don't go after land that has everything on it. If it's got fence and it's got water, it's got a good road, it's got a handling facility, it's got electricity, uh, the pastures are in good shape, there's no brush water everywhere <laughs> folks you're going to give a fortune for that even if you lease it it's going to cost you well in missouri a, a farm like that you're probably looking at 50 to 70 dollars an acre a year we can go in on some of this lease land uh kind of like what's behind me here and with good management we can turn it into this in a couple years and we can get this land for kind of shame to say it but it's pretty economical um Five to ten, fifteen dollars a year. Some of them are free. Uh, we get land free. A lot of it's from deer hunters. Deer hunters see what we can do with this land. Um, you know, when you can take pure stands of fescue and put about thirty to forty percent legumes in it with your cattle, and folks, this this is deer haven, okay? And this is a cattle farm. It's deer haven. So you deer hunters need to pay attention. We can really do some neat things with good grazing management. Your whole farm will be a food plot. Your whole farm, you don't need to put in food plots. We'll do that for you just with our grazing management. But back to the leasing. I think if you will take and look, take a look around your neighborhood, look for land that maybe somebody's given the hay away every year, it doesn't have any fence on it, doesn't have any water, that's where you come in. You're gonna do those things. Have a written lease, don't do a verbal lease. Uh -uh. And you can't do a one-year lease. You've got to have a minimum of five to seven years. The longer you can get that lease, the better. 
because time goes by quick okay you get this place farm you get this farm leased and you get it fenced you get the water set up you need some time there to, to make some money on this land make it look nice now here's the deal once you get that farm under lease by golly it's up to you to, you're in the landscape business in other words the beautification business you need to make that farm look like a show place okay if you can make it look like a show place the landowner first of all he's going to be very indebted to you he's going to be happy with the place as far the way his farm looks he's not going to be anxious to get rid of you at the end of that lease okay so it's up to you how long you want to keep this lease and i've got people come up to me all the time well i had a farm for a while and they took it away from me well, don't cry about it i've had it happen to me it happens but most of the farms we have today we've had for 15 to 20 years so it's doable it's a great way to get into the grazing business and today on judy farms you know we're at 16 farms today we started in 1999 and uh, four of those farms now we own okay we've been able to buy some of these farms or the cattle have and so i'm not saying land ownership is bad it's not bad if you can pay cash for it but build up that pool don't go into debt use that money to buy livestock livestock have baby calves baby calves eat grass they put on weight next thing you know you keep a heifer back now she's having a calf and then she has a heifer calf and that heifer's having a calf. it is like dominoes it's a whole lot better than putting your money in a savings account that gives you, what, 0.78% interest. Come on. You're not going to get wealthy doing that. Put your money into animals. Find you a piece of ground out here. If you're sitting behind a computer watching this in a day job and you're sick of it, get out here and do this on the weekends. After work, get you a little piece of ground. You don't have to be a big piece. Get you a 20-acre piece and start playing around with this. Learning your niches, okay? Once you learn all the little niches about it, then you can step up to the plate and maybe go after a bigger piece of ground. But this will work, what I'm talking about, and all these videos I've put out, it'll work on one acre. It's all scale relevant, okay? Just because we have 1,620 acres, that doesn't mean you can't do it. If you've got five, you absolutely can. But you've got to do it at a smaller scale. Of course, you don't have as much land. Folks, leasing is where it's at. Owning land comes later when you can pay cash for it. Write out a check, let the cows buy you another farm, whatever. That's what you want to do. I'm not saying you have to, but I think land's a great uh, investment if you can pay cash for it. But not go in debt for it your whole life. Expect your animals to pay for it right at the very start. Get your herd started, okay? I think that's what I'm going to cover is that this is the step one on leasing land. And I'm going to give another one here after a while. I'm going to talk about my second steps of what I look for. And uh, just some more on leasing land. Trying to take y'all by the hand and kind of lead you through our progress, what we've done, and how we got to where we are today. Because, folks, I'm not the only one in the United States that has done this. There has been a lot of people read that book, No Risk Ranching, and now they are out doing exactly what I'm doing. I get testimonials every week from people that are doing it now. And these are people that had given up on farming. They just saw no path back to the land because it's too expensive. Well, it is too expensive. You buy it all, but you can lease this land. There's a ton of it out here in America. It's just waiting for you. You got to find it. And when you go look for it, look for someplace where at least they get some rain. Make it easy on yourself. Go someplace where they're having, I don't know, 28 to 38 inches of rain a year. Find those areas. Okay. Nothing wrong with the West. If you're if you're from the West and you're immune to that area out there and you can do it, more power to you. But it happens quicker. What I'm talking about here happens quicker when you get a little bit of moisture. So, yeah. Go for it, folks. You can do this. Thank you all. This is Greg Judy signing off.